Hi beauties, our vlog topic today is on ghee and I wanna give you my thoughts and opinion on this popular trending food. Maybe you've heard of ghee, maybe you haven't. If you haven't, in just a moment, I'm gonna cover all the basic facts about ghee. But basically we live in the world right now where there are a lot of trending high fat diets and ghee has become a popular food. It's basically clarified butter. And I do not believe that we should eat super low fat. I do not believe in a non-fat diet because we definitely need fat to maintain healthy tissues in our body. We need fat for supple, healthy skin, for brain health, the right kinds of fats, for our nervous system, for so many different functions in the body. But the, what we're sourcing as our fat choices is extremely important. And let's get into that right now. So, Again, ghee is something you may have heard about. It's basically clarified butter. It's been around for thousands of years and it started in India around 2000 BC. Now, originally it was used um, because of the lack of refrigeration. Ghee is actually more shelf stable, so it wasn't spoiling as easily. It's been linked to a lot of sacred spiritual concepts in Hinduism. And ghee is something that I learned about in my Ayurvedic studies from Dr. J. As you know, as you may or may not know, the cow is sacred in, in India, in Hinduism. So there's a spiritual quality to ghee for sure. So what are the benefits of ghee? Um, first of all, I will just say another thing I uh, wanted to mention is that fat is also important in us absorbing fat soluble vitamins. So when we look at ghee, it has, you know, maybe a better alternative to butter for cooking because it doesn't contain any lactose um, as opposed to regular butter because it's clarified. So the milk solids are removed. So another benefit of ghee, of ghee butter, is that it contains vitamins A and E as well as conjugated linoleic acid, CLA, which has some antiviral properties. However, I do not believe that ghee is something that we necessarily need to consume in our diet. I personally do not consume ghee at all. First of all, I think it smells very cowish. I do not like the smell. I think it's pretty flavor dominant. Um, there's also some research here I wanna point out. A scientific study linked ghee with increased triglyceride levels in rats. And in 2019, a study found that oxidized cholesterol is linked to increased heart disease. The way that ghee is produced at a high heat, there's a risk that its cholesterol may also become oxidized. Some people use ghee on their hair and on their skin. I think that's actually quite nasty to be honest and quite frank because it may potentially clog our pores. There's that cow smell. And I just think there's better oils that we can use on our skin like argan oil and sesame oil and coconut oil that are better suited to skin health. As far as cooking, I am a big advocate for using coconut oil instead. It is about 65% medium chain triglycerides, which is a fat that's absorbed by your bloodstream and burned as fuel in our bodies. So it's very energizing. Um, it's a healthy fat that can help us absorb those fat um, those uh, fat-soluble vitamins, uh, MCTs, which are in coconut oil, not in ghee, have been shown to help reduce body fat, body weight, and triglyceride levels, as opposed to ghee, which has been linked to increasing triglyceride levels. Coconut oil also contains lauric acid, which is a component of breast milk and contains um, antibacterial anti and antimicrobial properties as well. It also has linoleic acid and vitamin E, which is similar to ghee. Coconut oil also comes from plants, you guys. So it doesn't have the concern of sourcing something and consuming something from an animal product, not just from an ethical perspective, but also from a toxicity perspective. We know that animals are higher up on the food chain and concentrate a lot of environmental toxins. So there you have it, beauties. I think that ghee is popular, it's trending. I do not recommend it personally. I do not use it personally. I do not think it is necessary. I think you could easily use coconut oil for the uses that you would use ghee for. And eating our, our Saluna Beauty Detox Diet, you're gonna get a wide variety of other fats as well, including avocados and hemp seeds and omega-3 fats from things like chia seeds. So coconut oil can be part of the diet. Ghee, which smells and tastes like cow to me, um, and for all the other concerns we just talked about, is not something I recommend. 
So I'd love to hear your thoughts and ideas as well. You can link to them or leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, sending you so much love, beauties. Thank you for tuning in, and I will see you next week.